If you're like me, you find yourself getting distracted with new ideas or things that you start chasing only to find yourself having to abandon those things so that you can go back to working on the things that existed before that have deadlines or are needing attention. Now, I think for me, it's a form of procrastination. I run up against some sort of difficulty with the project that I'm working on. I take a little bit of a break. I have this new idea and I start chasing that new idea, but you can invite endless amounts of things into your life. And so a while ago, I decided I needed to vet these ideas better. I can't just take off on this idea. I mean, early on, I would go and buy a domain name. I would get some social media accounts put together and really start working on this as if I had nothing else going on. And then I'd have to abandon these things. I've gotten better over time to where I'd start to maybe jot some notes down about it and think through the idea a little bit before I'd actually just start working on it. But that's typically what I end up doing. One way or another, I am using energy on some new idea that may or may not fit into the goals that I have that I had made previous to this moment of procrastination or escapism or whatever it is that I'm doing. So a few years ago, I developed what I call my personal impact filter, which was a document that I would go through and I would check some boxes and assign some scores to how this would align with how it would affect my life, my other work and stuff like that. And I've used it, I'd say more than a handful of times. I've used it several times, but I have to make the decision to use it because it's a document. I have to either print it and fill it out or I have to open up the Word document and start using it. And I just don't find myself gravitating towards that because the excitement of the new idea is simply too much. However, I use AI for a lot of things now, and I've recently been using AI to help measure things against my goals and my mission, and it's been a game changer. And so I'm gonna show you exactly how I've set this up, but let's first start with an example. I'm using Claude AI, which I think is a great use case for this because you can create projects in Claude and projects allow you to ask AI things or ask Claude things based off of information that you've already fed it. So as you can see over on the right hand side, I have a decision making framework. I have four mentor personas and I have my mission and vision. And then I have an overview of the project. This is what this project is supposed to accomplish. So the purpose of it is to serve as an accountability partner and thought filter that helps you maintain focus and your established priorities and commitments while preserving schedule flexibility and honoring your highest values. And then there are primary functions of it. You can see this is quite a document. I've got uh, my highest priorities, my established focus areas, and that's business, just continues to go on with that. When evaluating new ideas, Claude will, and then it runs through a list of things that it must do. When supporting current priorities, Claude will. And so these project instructions is what Claude will use to measure everything against. And so anything that I ask Claude within this project is gonna go ahead and measure it against that. And then it's also gonna use this information within the project knowledge base. So let's go ahead and ask it a question. Maybe I have this new idea that I wanna start a Pokemon YouTube channel, which I actually did with my kids a few years ago, which we haven't been doing anything with. So I'm gonna go ahead and present what I want to do. I want to start a Pokemon collecting YouTube channel with my kids. And I'm not gonna add any other context. I'm just going to submit that and see what Claude has to say. And so as you can see, it's giving me an assessment of this new idea with mission alignment. It's a seven out of 10. This aligns with my mission to lead my family and create digital content, though the Pokemon focus is new. Schedule impact, potentially, yes. If properly scheduled, this could preserve flexibility. Highest priority effect, positive. This directly involves family time and creates shared experiences. Focus area fit. This overlaps with my other YouTube channel's focus areas, though with a new subject. Distraction check. This appears to be a genuine opportunity to combine family time with content creation, something that I'm already doing and something that I want more of, more time with my family. So it's also evaluating how much of an impact this might have on my life. There's definitely a recurring commitment as I attempt to build traction that can take a little bit of time, requires mental energy like learning Pokemon, uh, emotional energy, patience with my kids, 
creative energy, content planning. And so it's letting me know everything. All I told it is that I want to start a Pokemon collecting YouTube channel with my kids. And it's giving me all of this information. And why is it able to give me all of this information? And why does it sound like it already knows and understands me? Well, first of all, I have my mission and vision that I've added here. So I have my mission and my vision statement that I've added. I also added a decision-making framework and that has quite a bit of information. This decision-making framework is for new opportunities. And so it asks to generate an initial quick assessment. And the purpose is to quickly determine if an idea deserves deeper consideration. Now, I also have added mentor personas because I want to be able to ask specific questions and have it lean on a specific personality type with a background that can give me insights and information. So for example, a business growth persona. This business growth persona, I actually had Claude generate for me in another chat. And the way that I did this was that I asked Claude to generate four different personas in four different categories. And I gave some of the values and educational background that I wanted those people to have. It then generated me a bio with a bunch of information about that person so that when Claude gives information to me, it's basing it off of at least one or maybe more of those personas. So I could ask it questions like, I want to go film a documentary on the road about solo life as a husband and father. <laughs> and then I could hit submit. I don't even want to know what this is going to come back with. It's probably going to be hilarious. But let's go ahead and see what it says. Mission alignment of five out of 10. While it relates to the family content, the on the road and solo aspects seem potentially contradictory to your mission leading my family with integrity and purpose. Schedule impact. Being on the road would significantly disrupt your flexible schedule and ability to be present with your family. Highest priority effect, negative. This would take you away from your family. Focus area fit. This partially fits your personal YouTube channel, but introduces a completely new format. And so it gives me a whole bunch of information to consider. Basically is giving me not a hard no, it's not saying don't do it, but it's giving me feedback that allows me to make the decision like, oh yeah, this probably isn't a good idea. Well, that would be a really cool experience. I'm just not in a position in life right now to be able to do a solo trip on the road as a husband and a father, like that doesn't make any sense. And so being able to ask Claude this information within this project that has predetermined context, I'm able to get a good report back with insights and information about whether or not I should entertain a new idea. So this is just one example of many projects that I have set up. So for example, I created a project for my company Hill Media Group so that I can generate things like contracts, proposals and stuff like that from within Claude. But I also want it to measure against whether or not this client would be a good fit. You see, it's very easy to take on new clients because somebody has an interest in having you do work for them and maybe they don't necessarily fit the type of client that you want. I've been doing this long enough that I want clients that are going to work well with me and that I could provide good value to. And so I want to be able to measure that against the type of business that they are, their goals, the things that they're trying to achieve to make sure that I'm actually able to fulfill those needs for them. And then also what their budget is. And so I have a bit of information that I have over here on the right hand side. For example, the mission and vision and core values of Hill Media Group. I also have some customer personas. And so I have a nonprofit customer persona, a service-based business persona, and an online business persona. And then I also have a bunch of project use cases that I've added in as well. So let's run one of these as a test and have it generate a proposal and see what kind of output it has. So let's look at an example. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in local auto body repair shop, needs a new website, social media marketing, and email marketing automation. Their budget is 1200 and ongoing services is 50 per month. And let's go ahead and send this off and see what kind of response that I get back. So it's helping evaluate this as an opportunity against my mission, vision, and target personas. 
So it gives an alignment analysis. So it says based on the information you provided them needing and what their needs are, with the budget, they've identified some misalignments. First of all, there's a budgetary mismatch. My ideal price point is that, and it's quite a bit higher than what they have available. They requested services that fit within what I can create, but it mentions that if I take on all of these, it might be difficult to deliver profitability for me at the proposed budget. It does show that there is a persona alignment that matches one of my personas as a service-based owner, but with a much lower budget. So it recommends a different approach. It says, given these misalignments, here are your options. Respectfully decline or educational alternatives. Offer a scaled down solution focused solely on education, strategy, consulting session, DIY resources, clear explanation of what a properly executed marketing system would cost, and then also a referral option referring them to someone else. Now, the reason that it's giving me all of this is because I gave it the information that these are the fees, this is basically what I wanna be able to charge at a minimum, but I also am an education first business. I want to put as much information out there as possible. And so somebody that might not have the budget for me, don't just say no and send them on their way, although it gave me that as an option. Maybe perhaps offer them some educational resources that could potentially help them achieve their goals on their own. And it only knows all of this information because of the project information that I added for Hill Media Group. Now, if I came in here and simply said the client increased their budget to match my minimums, please create a detailed proposal. And now Claude is going to go ahead and generate a proposal. And as you can see, it's filling out everything that can be expected, even more information than what I provided, which I may have to go in and adjust. It's even bringing in information about my company and basically creating a very detailed proposal. You can see I've got an executive summary. Thank you for considering Hill Media Group. It's giving me information there that kind of opens up the proposal based on our understanding of your needs. Here are your business needs. What's your current situation? What solutions are we offering? and what the costs are there, what the implementation timeline is, the expected results, a breakdown of the initial investment, our guarantees, next steps, and then an about section for Hill Media Group. Now, this is definitely would need some tweaking to make it specific. And if I was trying to put together a proposal, I wouldn't be so vague with my instructions. I'm being vague right now so that you can see how much work Claude is doing on its own based off of the information that I had pre-fed it in the project instructions. So this is a huge time saver for me. I'm able to use Claude as an AI agent to create documents and content for me that are in alignment with my core values. So personally, I'm able to create anything within that project that I need, and it's going to measure it against my mission and vision, my core values, and it's even going to utilize identity information from those personas that I've created as well when I need resources and help and accountability. For my business, I'm able to create documents, uh, measure things against the core values, able to make decisions based on how I have structured and where my focuses are as my business. And also not just so that I can say yes or no, but so that I can say yes and have detailed information to move forward, or I could respectively say no, but not leave somebody high and dry and give them additional information so that I can educate them and help them move forward in a different direction. Claude AI is really changing the game for me, and I'm discovering new ways almost every single day on how I can utilize it to be more effective and think faster. It's not that I couldn't create all of these things on my own. It's that it would take a lot of time for me to think through all of these. And I mean, you could not do this in the matter of seconds like you can with Claude. It would take me days probably to think through all of this stuff and lots of revisions and lots of going back and forth between different documents and having to remember things that I might have forgotten. Claude AI is solving all of that for me. So I want to make some of these prompts available to you, some of the things that I have put into these projects. I want to make those available to you. So if you go down to the link in the description below and click on that link, I will provide you with prompts that will help you create the different documents that you need. I didn't handwrite any of these. I fed Claude information and it generated all of them for me. I then put them in the project and then I'm now using that generated information to measure decisions, ideas, 
bots, all of that stuff up against, and it's saving me a ton of time and helping me be more productive. So if you want that, check out the link in the description. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you back in another one soon. Take care.